When Elmar Brock became a member of the European Parliament 39 years ago, there were just nine members of the European Union. During his tenure, he's seen that membership swell, but Mr Brock, a member of the Brexit steering group, is stepping down at next month's elections. That's before the UK is due to leave the bloc, if indeed it does. Uh, in his final speech in the European Parliament yesterday, he called on the UK to come to a constructive agreement by October. And uh, Elmar Brock joins me now uh, from the European Parliament in Strasbourg. Thank you uh, for being with us. Good to see you in quality vision. Um, I wonder if I could ask you, first of all, about one of the things you said in your speech. You said, we have a Europe of solidarity, of peace, of economic prosperity. Do not allow this Europe to be destroyed. Nationalism is war. Do you think there's a, a real danger now that, if you like, the European vision of, of cooperation is threatened? Look, uh, that is our European history, that in the past, nations fought each other. The reasons for European unification is to get rid of wars, which happened in Europe over the centuries, every 20, 30 years. And now we have achieved a 70 years period of peace with close cooperation, with unification of Europe, including the Central and Eastern European countries. This is the most lucky moments of European history we had in the last 70 years, uh, at least in Western Europe. And uh, we have to see that it's also the question of prosperity. We were never so rich, we were never so strong economically as we now a days. And we but have a solidarity are. that also the poorer regions are developed in a positive way. Poland has a five times so hi higher GNP than 25 years ago. It's an incredible success story. So where do you fit the sort of movements, the nationalist and populist movements which we're seeing, of course, manifested by Brexit? Look, these nationalists want to destroy Europe. They agree only in one point, to destroying Europe. And the Europe which is divided has no chance in trade, in competition, uh, in security, in fighting climate change, in the questions of migration alone and in that fight on a global order between Putin, Xi and Trump. To respect identity of our European nations means cooperate within Europe with each other in this globalized world. And with Brexit we have to see, we would like to have Britain in, but if it wants to go out, it should go out. Uh, and do not have this drama in the House of Commons which is not able to decide anything. We would like to go back to normal business, to be stronger in competitiveness, in internal and external security, climate change. We have to concentrate on the real issue and have not lose all the time discussion Brexit and therefore we hope there is a constructive solution in the House of Commons to make Brexit soft, that we find new ways of cooperation and should be done so fast as possible. You so where, asked, do, where, where does the United Kingdom have to get Union. to if it's not going to be kicked out at the end of October? What does the United Kingdom have to have done by then? Uh, Your, if it, what, uh, Europe, you, it's easy. We have want not to kick you out. You have asked to go out. You have Article 50 drawn. It's not us. It's a British decision to leave. And then if you have made this decision, make it possible. And if you have negotiated and withdrawal agreement with your government in the last November, then it should be possible to deliver that, that it will be ratified in the United Kingdom and let us not wait longer uh, for that. Uh, and uh, I hope now that at least the parties talk to each other. London should talk to London so fast as possible to find a solution for the majority in the House of Commons or call for new elections in the United Kingdom if the House of Commons is not able to find a solution because of the lack of majority there. And uh, I think uh, this means to have a constructive solution, a soft Brexit would be the best, that we have, can have a free trade agreement, perhaps even a customs union, that we have agreements in internal external security and research and so on, and not a hard Brexit, and do it fast, that it makes possible uh, that we can concentrate on the issue, or withdraw the Article 50 letter, revocate. That is the other solution, but it's up to you, and let us not wait longer with such a decision. Um, I brought, thank you very much indeed uh, for speaking us, uh, to us. We wish you well uh, in your retirement uh, from uh, the European Parliament. Uh, interesting thoughts there uh, from uh, a veteran MEP.